Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are here today to celebrate an important event that took place in 1918, over 100 years ago, the Great Union of Romania. As most of you know, the, the kingdom was established already by that point of uh, Wallachia and uh, Moldova. And then uh, the other provinces and areas joined, and that was uh, Transylvania and uh, Bukovina and Bessarabia. And so we have uh, the Great Union. There's one uh, important item I want to speak to you very briefly, and that was in uh, 2018, when the 100th anniversary took place of the Great Union, for the first time, we were here of course, but for the first time, all the Christians denomination got together. They had never gotten together before, but on the Union Day of Romania, for the first time in 100 years, even in Canada, they all came together to celebrate at St. George's Church. So that was a really a landmark decision. I'd like to welcome you to today's event. So I'm delighted to, uh, that you have come to join us and I'm very happy to introduce the Speaker of the Legislature, who's, uh, who's uh, really graced us with, on this occasion with his presence, because he doesn't always come out all the time, but today he has decided to come to celebrate with us. So I'm delighted to introduce to you Ted Arnett, the Speaker of this Legislature. Thank you very much, Tony. Bonjour et bienvenue. Good afternoon and welcome. Buna ziwa. It is my great pleasure as Speaker of the Legislative Assembly of Ontario to join you today as we gather together to celebrate the Romanian National Day. And it's wonderful to see the sunshine illuminating the Romanian flag. I know that I speak for all members of Provincial Parliament when I say we're delighted to have you here at Queen's Park, the seat of government in Ontario, and the majestic symbol of parliamentary democracy in our province. We are gathered on the traditional territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. We pay our respects to the many Indigenous nations who've gathered here and continue to gather here. In a time of challenge and change, Ontario and Canada represent a beacon of tolerance, respect and cooperation where we care about our families, our neighbours and our communities. Right now, these values are taken together are a shining example to a troubled world. Today we celebrate with you, the Canadians of Romanian descent, and we take pride in all that we've accomplished together. Canada and Romania enjoy friendly relations, particularly in the security domain. And together we have a number of bilateral agreements and enjoy mutually beneficial commercial relations through trade, investment, and cooperation on innovation, science, and technology. Canada and Romania are both members of NATO, the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, La Francophonie, and the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance. In addition to our increasingly strong diplomatic relations, our friendship is strengthened by the cultural bridges built by our vibrant Romanian-Canadian community. An estimated 230,000 Canadians claim Roman Romanian heritage, and in the 2016 census, over 100,000 people reported Romanian as their mother tongue. Most live in Ontario. The Romanian-Canadian community enriches us all in Ontario in diverse and unique ways and is an integral part of the fabric of Ontario society. Now, it's my honour to call forward the Acting Consul General of Romania in Toronto, Mrs. Oana Luca Gurk, to present a certificate in recognition of this special day. And it reads as follows. In celebration of Romania National Day, it is my pleasure on behalf of the Legislative Assembly of Ontario to send you our heartfelt congratulations for this important occasion. Thank you and happy National Day. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker Arnott. I'm always uh, delighted to have uh, your presence at these events. And now uh, I am really happy to introduce to you the Consul General of the Republic of Romania. And uh, I just want her to know that we were waiting for you. You've just arrived last Wednesday, and so we are very delighted to have you here in a few days after your arrival, and we certainly welcome you, not only the Romanian community, but you certainly have all these welcome remarks 
from the Canadian politicians and from the Canadian public. So thank you very much, and I introduce you now. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, I am honored to have my first speech here in Canada in front of the Legislative Assembly of Ontario on the most important day of Romania, which is the National Day. Vos Excellences, Mesdames et Messieurs, distinguées invités, je suis honoré d'avoir mon premier discours au Canada devant l'ensemble législatif de l'Ontario à l'occasion la plus importante de la Roumanie, qui est la fête nationale. December 1st represents a fundamental landmark for all Romanians at home or abroad, a moment of remembrance of the 1918 historical act, of the ideas that animated us as, and the fundamental values, uh, as a, ideas that animated us and of the fundamental values that defined us as a nation. December 1st, 1918 was a beginning for all Romanians, as this December 1st is a beginning for me here on, uh, in Ontario, in front of the local symbol of democracy. We have around 100,000 Romanians in Ontario, representing the most important Romanian co community across Canada and one of the most relevant in North America. Romanians began coming to Canada at the late 19th century and continue to come here today to study, to work, to develop business, building a solid community in this beautiful and welcoming country. I am honored to be here where the Romanians are welcomed, integrated, respected and valued. Je suis honoré d'être ici où les Roumains sont accueillis, intégrés, respectés et valorisés. Happy National Day, Romania. Happy birthday, Romanians. Happy National Day, Canada. Bon anniversaire, Romanie. Joyeux anniversaire, les Roumains. Bon anniversaire, Canada. Thank you. Thank you very much, Council General Gerge. And uh, now we're going to have the raising of the flag and the singing of the Romanian national anthem. And that is being done by Tudor Dragomir, who's going to sing the anthem, and we have uh, two people who are going to raise the flag. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we will hear from the distinguished members of parliament who uh, represent you here in Canada and who are always available if you need them. That's our democracy. We call them up directly and they will respond. Isn't that great? That doesn't happen in all the countries, but that's Canada. So I'm very delighted to have our, as our first speaker from the Progressive Conservative Party, Mr. Norm Miller. Let's welcome him. Thanks, Tony, and uh, Council Generals, ladies and gentlemen, Speaker. Uh, thank you for inviting me to participate today. Thank you, Acting Council General Gerge, for, for the invitation, and glad you're uh, here in Ontario. Hope you're over your jet lag. I've said she should have arrived in spring so she could experience summer first instead of going right into uh, an Ontario winter. But I'm honored to be here with you today to represent the province of Ontario at this flag raising ceremony for the National Day of Romania. Ontario and Romania share a long standing and positive relationship. We share continuing bonds and organizations, including La Francophonie, the Organizations for, for Security and Cooperation in Europe, and as NATO allies. Ontario is proud to have a vibrant and active Romanian community, and many reside here in the greater Toronto area. In fact, Ontario is home to nearly 100,000 people of Romanian origin. They play an important role in forming our province's vibrant cultural mosaic. Ontario is proud of our friendship with Romania and we look forward to a long and collaborative relationship for many decades to come. On behalf of Premier Doug Ford, I'd like to thank everyone here for playing an important role in helping our relationship 
prosper. And thank you so much for inviting me to be a part of today's activities. Thank you very much, MPP Norm Miller. And now we're delighted to uh, invite the representative from the New Democratic Party, Percy Hatfield. Thank you, Tony, and welcome back to Queen's Park. As many of you know, Tony was one of the longest serving members uh, here. Uh, Mr. Speaker, ladies and gentlemen from the Consular Corps, MPP Miller, and all members of the Romanian community who have joined us today. Indeed, it is an honor to be with you on behalf of my leader, the leader of the official opposition, Andrea Horvath, and my colleagues in the NDP. Happy Great Union Day. Greetings on your 103rd celebration. I'm from Windsor and we're more informal in Windsor. And it's good to be in the official opposition because you've heard everything already from the first speakers. And there's nothing I can tell you about Romania that you don't already know. But being from Windsor and Windsor to Cumpsey, I have not one, not two, but three Romanian churches in my writing, St. George's, St. John the Divine, and the Bethany Romanian Pentecostal Church of God. I've been to St. John the Divine more than the others. It's on Drulard Road in a part of town that has seen its struggles, but is slowly becoming gentrified. Reverend Father Constantine Casillas is the parish proctor. His son and my daughter were in grade school together at Forest Glade Public School. I do have a scroll, and it's from uh, my leader, Andrea Horvath, and she extends congratulations and best wishes to the Consulate of Romania on the occasion of the flag-raising ceremony at Queen's Park in commemoration of Romania National Day. We now uh, have a final speaker and final presenter from the Romanian community here. And uh, he's very active in the engineering society. In fact, I think he's the vice president. And his name is Paul Goldenberg. So Mr. Goldenberg, come up please. We would like to welcome you to make some remarks. Dear friends, Canadians, Romanian Canadians and Romanians, and the Union of Transylvania, Banat, Krishana, Maramures with Romania. December 1st, 1918 represents the main event in the history of Romania, the date on which the Great Assembly from Alba Iulia voted the Union of Transylvania with Romania, at the same time demanding a, sister, a single national state. We, the Romanian in Canada, are proud of our achievement and contribution to Canada. Our community of approximately 100,000 people we are a peaceful community, hard-working people, many of us professionals as doctors, dentists, nurses, social workers, lawyers, engineers, architects, teachers, construction workers, and lots of other businesses, working together with other communities to develop Canada day to day. With this occasion, we wish to all Canadians happy and healthy holiday season. Thank you and happy birthday, Romania. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Goldenberg. Before I introduce the, the Consular Corps and the Consuls who are present, uh, I'd like to remind you that you are participating in a historic event. To raise this flag is no small matter. All members of Parliament were informed that you are here. The message that will go forth from this place, when you look at the flag and the colors, will be that Romanians are here, that Romanians are important and are making an important contribution to Canada. So we welcome that. Your participation today is important, and I'm delighted now to introduce to you the Consular Corps and members of the Consular Corps who are present with us today. I would like for you to raise your hand so you can be identified, because later on people may want to ask you some questions. Uh, from the uh, from the uh, Bundesrepublik Deutschland, uh, Germany, Thomas Schulze. Give him a hand, yes. Uh, from the Consul General of the Republic of Serbia, 
Council General Vasilye Petkovic. From the Council of Sweden, the Honorary Council General Lars Henriksen. Uh, from the Consulate General of the Czech Republic, Peter Burianalik. And then we have the Honorary Consul General of the Republic of the Union of Myanmar, Brian Wilford. And our friend, Ante Jovic, who is the Consul General of the Republic of Croatia. We also have the Consul General here from South Africa, and his name is Tandive Fadane. Uh, the Consul General of the Republic of Poland, Sylvia Czerwinska. And the, and the former Consul General of Moldova, and his name is George Oprah. And then we have, uh, gracing us with her presence, Ingrid Kellner from the United Communities of Canada. Raise your hand. And then we have the uh, Deputy Consul General of Japan. Could you raise your hand, please? Uh, you have very distinguished persons present to raise this flag. It is no small matter when Consul General leave the job and attend, stand here, view the flag and understand the importance of this event. So I would really like for us to give them a hand to say thank you very much for your attendance. This brings the formal part to an end, except simply to say Romani Amare to those who know what that means. And the rest of us, why don't we, why don't we say together, Ziva Amari Uniri. Like that means something like, uh, can we do that? Are we ready to, I'll, I'll tell you one more time, okay? Ziva Mari Yuniri. Ziva Mari Thank you very much for attending this historic event. I'm here with the uh, Consul General of Croatia and uh, we're gonna simply uh, ask him very quickly, uh, you uh, participated in this event? Yes. And uh, you're happy to be here. I'm very, very happy to be here. Uh, I think it's um, it's our responsibility to continue to support each other in the European Union and hold our uh, European values and share them, and uh, especially also use this to promote uh, European and the Canadian relationship and uh, you know commerce. Thank you very much, and thank you for coming. Thank you. Now we have the South African Council General say a few words about this event. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm so happy to be here. I know that this is the time where, as the international family, we need each other most to support each other. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for attending. And now we have the Council General of Sweden, or the Honorary Council of Sweden here. Yeah, it's uh, great to be uh, attending an event like this. And I think it's very important uh, to do these things together under the uh, situations we are. Uh, countries tend to close borders for each other. We should do the other way around. And this gives us an opportunity to show that we are better off together. Thank you very much for your Thank attendance. You. We appreciate that. Consul General of Serbia now, Consul General of Serbia. Yes, it's been an honor today to be here for the flag raising ceremony uh, for the National Day of Romania and I would like to use this opportunity to congratulate to the Romanians here in Canada and in Romania uh, a National Day. Romania is our neighboring country, we have excellent relations and Romania and Serbia has been for the long time lost, la la long, long lasting friends. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your attendance. And now we move to the Consul General of Germany, Mr. Scholze. 
Well, it's a pleasure to be here. Romania is a dear partner in the European Union and the European Union presence is very strong here in Toronto and Romania is a very strong partner here in Toronto. We're supporting as European Union the business in Ontario and congratulations to all Romanians on this very special day. And again, thank you very much My pleasure. Um, for your attendance. And now, uh, uh, joining us is the Consul General of Costa Rica. Thank you for attending. Thank you very much for the invitation. It is an honor for me to, to have the opportunity to meet uh, other people, to meet uh, fellow colleagues of the Diplomat Corp, and to meet wonderful people from Romania here in Canada. Thank you very much, Jorge, and uh, we hope to see you again as we raise the flag of Costa Rica, maybe. <laughs> Thank you. I, I hopefully do, uh, looking forward to, to do that. And uh, but but um, as I said, I'm really glad to to have this opportunity. Uh, the Romanian people is wonderful, and I have the opportunity to meet some of them here. So thank you very great. much, Mr. Romania. Thank I appreciate you. your attendance. Bye. And uh, finally, we have the the consul, the consul, vice consul, vice consul yes. of the Republic of Poland here, and uh, she would like to say just a few words. First of all, I'm honored to attend flag raising ceremony on National Day of Romania. Uh, we share the common values. We are great partners within the European Union. It was my great honor to meet new Consul General and we hope to meet more often. Good. Welcome to Canada. <laughs> we hope to see you again and thank you thank very you. much for your attendance. Thank, thank you, you so much. Happy National Day. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, we're here, of course, with the Consul General of Romania. Uh, Mrs. Gerge, who has uh, arrived and who is very happy today, I'm sure, as we raise the Romanian flag and uh, how many people know about the Romanian flag and the Romanians in Canada now. And thank you very much for your wonderful speech that you made. Thank you very much. I really enjoyed this uh, special occasion. Uh, I uh, made everything to come here and yes. to attend this because it was so so fast and I really wanted to to be here uh, because it's a special day for Romania it's a special day for all Romanians uh, and uh, in this uh, very uh, tough moment it's important for us to be together and to remembrance the thing the unity that came together on December 1st 1918 good okay so uh, I think what we just heard uh, was an important announcement, and that is that uh, Romania, with its Unity Day, Union Day, I should try to say, Union Day, is now in Canada, and that uh, we are making sure that Canadians will know about not only the contribution of Romanians here, but with the help of the Council General, we will spread the word that uh, Romania is a great nation, and consequently will make a contribution to international peace, international economy and that we will live together in, in, in union and this unity day or union day is a great example of how that can be achieved so thank you very much thank you uh, thank council you. general i appreciate very much what you said thank you. We are, we're celebrating romanian union day and with us is the uh, the president of the united communities of canada and uh, she too admires the romanian flag Thank you, Tony. I'm so happy to be here uh, around the Consul General. It's uh, very important to be a Consul General of Romania here. She just arrived last week. Yes. And I would like to say all the Romanian community ha here, like, uh, thank you for everyone to be here and to support Romanian community and also National De Day of Romania, 1st of December. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Good. Well, thank you very much for your attendance and we're very happy you came. And now we know that all of Canada, driving by, walking by, looking up on the flag, understands Romanians are here and Romanians are making a great contribution to our own economy, in the arts, in the culture, and even in the professions. So thank you very much to everybody with their attendance. And we can say then, Romania Mare.